Hello Capricorn, what's going on? Long time no see. Well, it's not been that long, has it? Um, I hope you're doing really well. My name is Diane and this is Madam Butterfly Tarot. And we're going to do a reading for February. But you know, it's a timeless reading. Um, you're very welcome here as always Capricorn. Thank you so much for being here with me. You know, I really appreciate it. And um, hopefully the reading will resonate with you and you'll enjoy it and all that good stuff. And you know, if it does, and you do, and you feel like liking and subscribing for me, I would appreciate that a lot. Okay, you're getting an apology from someone. This is someone who, um, you guys had some kind of fight, yeah. You guys had some kind of fight the last time, like there was some words spoken. Um, and they're coming in to apologise because the fight has been weighing very heavily on their minds. Like whatever went down, what, maybe you said something um, that really affected them, maybe they said something that they regret, but you're getting an apology. Like, there's, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Sorry if it's a little dark in here, it's just, it's just the setup, like it makes it look much darker than it is. I can't really fix it at the moment, so sorry. Page of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Okay, what else for Capricorn, please? The Knight of Pentacles. This could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Very, very slow moving, but you know what, Capricorn? Um, it's uh, here to stay, you know? It's really here to stay of the Four of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Like, this is, yeah, this is gonna make you really happy. Some of you are actually about to get engaged. Like, I don't, I wouldn't usually say that in a general reading, but you have the Three of Cups here and the Four of Wands, like, these are engagement cards, you know. Um, for others of you, it's going to be, you know, this person's coming in to ask you out on a date. Like, let me take you out, you know, let me try and fix this, let's go for dinner, let's go for coffee, something like this. It's something that's going to make you really happy, like, whatever they, you know, whatever stage you guys are at, um, they want commitment, okay? And you have the Five of Wands and the Knight of Swords. I I feel like this is someone that's been very up in the air with and they want to sort it out. They don't want it to be up in the air anymore. And there's that Five of Wands again. I feel like you guys had some kind of fight. Uh, they want to fix this. Like they're coming, I think they're going to come in and be like, M my bad, like it was me, you know? Or, you know, at least they, they want to fix it with you. They don't want things to be up in the air. They're coming in quite fast. With the Knight of Swords, you have the Queen of Swords here. Like, yeah, communication. They're kind of worried that you're not going to accept this. You have the Four of Wands here again. Um, You know... Okay, I see the Queen of Cups here as well, um, and I see the Nine of Wands in reverse. You're showing up here, they, they, they're they worried that you're in this Queen of Swords energy, okay? Which is like, your back is up, you have your defences up, because that's what happened last time with this person, right? There was some kind of fight, blah blah blah, um, but they want... Because I feel like when you guys met, you were in your Queen of Cups energy. Like you may have had, you may have been very kind of innocent, or something, and you may have had to learn boundaries with this person. But I feel like when you guys met, like you were very, I don't know, I don't want to say lacking in boundaries, but that's kind of what what's coming through. Like this person may have taught you boundaries. <laughs> You know, they may have taught you to be like, well, I, I'm not putting up with that, bye. So they can't, They want you to be back in this Queen of Cups energy, like they want your defences to come down. But the thing is, you know, you can't turn back time, right? The damage is done. I mean, all they can hope for is that you're going to hear them out and you, can, and you guys can reconcile, right? But they're hoping that you're going to hear them out. That was the Two of Cups, I think, that flashed up there. You have the Four of Pentacles here. They're going to say sorry 
for um, being very closed off. I think this person was very closed off in the past. That's over now with the death card, okay? They've had a huge transformation, this person. They've done a lot of work on themselves. You have the Empress. This person really sees you as the Empress. You know, like very, you just have everything this person wants. You're gorgeous, you're stable, you feel like home to this person. You're very nurturing, you're very kind. Oh, they, um, hold on. They never, they, they didn't deliberately set out to hurt you. But I think they didn't ever expect you to, to grow balls like you did, basically, and to be like, no, and to just move on and to be totally fine without them, because that's what's happened. I think if anything, you've flourished because you've you've turned from the Queen of Cups to the Empress. You know, um, you just have everything this person wants, and you're fierce now. You know, and they like it. <laughs> but I think you really shocked them. You really did. Um, but yeah, they just love your energy now. I mean, they loved your energy before, but I think, yeah, they're just like, oh my god, you're like my queen <laughs> or my king. Like, please take my offer. I don't know if you're older than they are, because you have the Empress and the King of, sorry, the Empress and the Knight of Pentacles, so there may be an age difference. Yeah, this is what's come came through earlier. You have the Five of Wands with the Ten of Wands. So it's like the fight that you had weighs very heavily on their mind. You may have thought this that it hadn't bothered them, but it did. Maybe it didn't bother them so much at the time, but I think they've had time to think about it and they're like, oh my god, like I acted really badly. Like like I you know, that was not that was not awesome. And it's up in the air. It's up in the air and they don't want that anymore. You have the Three of Swords in reverse, like they want to fix this. You have the Ace of let me just reshuffle, because um, I'm not sure what I was clarifying there. Clarify the Knight of Swords for me, please. Okay, they want you to know that it's not just about um, getting with you you know, getting you back on them, as Justin Bieber would say. Um, it's not just about that, okay? I mean, they do think you're gorgeous with the Empress here. They also think, like, mother-father material, like, you'd be a great person to have a family with, is what's coming through as well. They're really sad. Like, you might be thinking, like, oh my god, like, this person just wants to get in my pants, like, whatever, like, uh, I'm, I'm over it. But that's not the case like with the five of cups here sorry i'm trying to get past the glare they're really sad about the way things turned out with you guys clarify the knight of swords please page of cups <laughs> yeah oh my god you're you're getting an apology you have the knight of wands in reverse you have the eight of wands in reverse and you have the six of pentacles okay oh my god this person is smitten um, so, feelings, look at that. Take time out to explore the deep emotions you are experiencing. This person has a lot of feels for you. This is quite similar to the Gemini reading that I just did. So, the Knight of Wands in reverse with the Eight of Wands in reverse. So, they're coming in very quickly, by the way, with the Knight of Swords, very, very quickly, coming in to apologize for being non-communicative with the Eight of Wands in reverse, holding back, not saying the things that they should have said, not apologising sooner, being an ass, basically, um, possibly being a player. The Knight of Wands is a player, you know. Um, certainly the Knight of Wands is someone who's very in and out, chaotic energy, a bit all over the place, very all over the place, doesn't know what they want. But that's in reverse now. They're not like that anymore. Um, and you have the Four of Swords with the Moon. So th there's definitely been a separation here because this person was away doing shadow work. I feel like you were doing shadow work. I feel like they were doing shadow work. Honestly, they're, they're, they're completely different now. 
be like I think you'll be really surprised and the six of pentacles this is reciprocation so this is someone who did not reciprocate at all before you know um but like the the page of pentacles and the two of cups like they're coming in to give you their pentacle yeah you're definitely getting a message here because they want to be with you capricorn the two of cups here like this person sees you as their soulmate they, they see you as the one you're the one and you're like a really good friend as well i feel like you guys have a good or you had a good friendship because i feel like you guys have not been talking for a while five of cups here they're really sad sorry <coughs> my throat just totally went there um they have to really held back sorry <coughs> <clears throat> this person is really bad at expressing emotions. They may have been from a family where like it was not okay to be super emotional, especially for the men in their family. Although, you know, it doesn't really matter, but I feel like sometimes that's more of a thing for men, you know what I mean? Um, but they're really sad about the way things have turned out. And you have the strength card with the sun here as well. You really um, are going to be very surprised because this is someone who did not open up to you at all before. But see with the strength card, that's someone who's coming in, laying their cards on the table and being like, look, this is how I feel. Um, this is what happened before. This is how I saw it. I'm sorry. I would love to be with you. Like, what do you want to do here? How do we move this forward? Because you're the one you're the one for me you're everything you have everything I want you know and you're finally getting the information like with the <coughs> sorry they're messing with my throat <coughs> um you're finally getting the information like they're going to come in and tell you everything basically you are going to be really surprised <laughs> like really really surprised like that came out of Gemini's reading too. The King of Swords lurking at the bottom of the deck. I restrain my feelings for you, but please know I do care. What would this person like to say to Capricorn? The King of Cups. See, that's interesting because you have the King of Swords and the King of Cups. So it's like... This person is going from being someone incredibly closed off, won't talk about their feelings, you know, won't talk about what they want, won't even really tell you that they're in love with you, <laughs> won't tell you that they like you, won't ask you out, um, to the King of Cups who's like in touch with their emotions. You know, the King of Cups is self-mastery. I feel like this is something this person had to master, it's like one of their karmic lessons, like to learn how to get in touch with their emotions and say it, right? Because otherwise you're going to leave. Because you definitely, I feel like you're in this Queen of Swords energy or you have been until very recently where you were just like, no, <laughs> go away. Um, what else would this person like to say to Capricorn? Ooh, the sun, you illuminate me, I'm the happiest I've ever been. Yeah, you make this person really, really happy. Really, really happy. The sun is also a commitment card. What else would this person like to see to Capricorn? The king of wands. Ooh, baby, it turns me on when you take control. So you could be dealing with a fire sign here. Um, oh my god, that's so weird. The Emperor, don't worry love, I've got it all under control. See, there's two cards about control here. I feel like this is someone who's taking control. They were very wishy-washy in the past. And I kind of feel like it was, I don't know if it was, I don't know if they didn't know what they wanted or they kind of didn't want to be tied down or they wanted to play the field or something. There's certainly that energy with the Knight of Wands, but I don't know if it was just that. Like, they're certainly coming in to take control. They could definitely be a fire sign, they could be an Aries, 
This person has leveled up. Oh, I've just noticed that. Look, I was going to put the emperor down and then I noticed that you have the emperor and the empress sitting next to each other. So they've done a lot of work on themselves to get to your level because, I, I don't know, I kind of feel like maybe they always just thought of you as like this empress. Like they always kind of thought you were at that level. So maybe they just were like, oh, like I'm not good enough or whatever. I think that there was probably a little bit of that underlying it, but it kind of manifested itself as this person being like a screwboy. You know what I mean? Or, you know, or just very flaky or in and out or a screw girl, you know? Um, but they've leveled up with the emperor. This is someone, the emperor is someone that's like, I want loyalty. I, I'm going to give you loyalty. I'm faithful. I'm going to be here. Like I'm solid now, you know? But they've kind of retained also with the, with this King of Wands. I think they're quite charming. See, also, they've gone from the Knight of Wands to the King of Wands. So they've really grown up. I mean, they're still going to be the same person because the Knight of Wands is very charming, uh, very good looking, but they're a player, you know, or they're very in and out and they don't know what they want. However, the King of Wands is really good looking really charming, very charismatic, but they want their queen, you know? Or you can flip that if you want, because, you know, you don't, if you're a guy, you don't have to be a queen. You can flip that and be like, oh, this is your queen coming in and they want their king, right? Um, but they're coming, now that they know what they want, they're, they're, go they're gonna sweep you off your feet, basically, is what I feel. <laughs> like, I kind of feel like you're gonna get swept off your feet here. This, yeah, look, they could be an Aries. Um, any other signs for this person coming in for Capricorn? Ooh. Libra. And Pisces. Um, I'm gonna pull some characteristics cards here, Capricorn. But yeah, definitely like expect communication from this person. I would say it's going to come in very fast, in all honesty, with that Knight of Swords. This has been like eating away at them. Like they feel like such a shit for the way that this ended or the way that they spoke to you or something, something like that. Who is this person coming in for Capricorn? They're going to tell you everything. You're going to be so surprised. Straight shooter. Yeah. No more screwing around. Okay. You have responsible. You have angelic. Who is this person coming in for Capricorn? You have tough. Um, I'm just going to take that one. Who's this? Oh, that one really wants to come out. So you have air sign, which is uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, who is this person coming in for Capricorn? You have strong, faithful, tattoos. Who's this person coming in for Capricorn? Cute. Loving. Athletic build. Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You've kind, you've boss energy. Red hair, so they could have red hair or they could be Scottish. You have soulful eyes. You have intuitive and you have bald. Let's get another couple. Family oriented. Yeah, this person wants a family. Kindred soul. Very wise. Honest. I think some of you guys are dealing with, you have extrovert here um, and sexy. Yeah, I think this person's a bit of a fox to be honest with you. I think they're very attractive. Mm -hmm. I think some of you, like, they also have Capricorn in their chart. I feel like this is a mix of some of, some of their energy and some of your energy, okay? 
<clears throat> so yeah that one wants to come out too you also have blonde hair i am totally losing my voice um i'm gonna end the reading here capricorn uh before i completely lose my voice thank you so much for watching i hope it was a useful reading thank you so much um don't forget to like and subscribe for me if you feel like doing that i would appreciate it a lot and as always, I wish you many blessings, love and light. Take care.